and we're recording now. Hello, I'm Dr. Gail Seymour, Professor of Art History and Associate Dean of the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. And I'm here with my colleague, Dr. Tane Duncan, Associate Professor and Chair of the Department of Philosophy and Religion. Hi, Tane. Hi, Gail. <laughs> Tane and I would love to welcome you today to the inaugural CAHSS Student Research and Creative Activity Conference, what we call the Coined Corner. So in case you're wondering, uh, coins are rectangular stones, alternating large and small, seen at the exterior corners of buildings. In fact, most of the buildings on our campus have coined corners. So coins originate in Roman architecture, they're reborn during the Renaissance, and they become a defining feature of the Georgian revival style, which is the default for our campus. So we chose the coined corner as the title for our conference because coins create a visual boldness and strength to a building, just like research and creative activity does in student growth. They look like stone zippers joining together adjacent sides of a building, an apt metaphor for our goal of bringing together the arts, communication, humanities, and social sciences in the new CAHSS. I, I love the description of the zippers on the buildings. And I know that as soon as I described coins in that way, so many students' eyes lit up as they thought about what to submit for the conference. So for our inaugural uh, CAHSS coined corner, we really wanted to represent that joining together of all of the various disciplines that make up our college. And we were so happy with the number and the depth and the breadth of submissions of really excellent student research and creative activity that we received for this year's conference. We have students representing everything from gender studies, a minor program, which I am also uh, privileged to oversee over here in the Department of Philosophy and Religion, to linguistics, to theater, to uh, artist statements, to recordings and uh, uh, sort of reflections on musical performances. I mean, we really did receive work from students across all of the departments and uh, fields of study and creative output that our college brings together. And so when we received all of these amazing projects and proposals from students, we assembled together a review committee representing all of the various departments that make up our college. And that review committee was then able to see which voices we wanted to make sure to highlight. So we went through a process of peer review, really emulating for the students the experience they would receive in a traditional conference in all of their disciplines. We didn't put any restrictions on what and how students could submit, except for to advise them that they should submit in the format and the style that was suitable for their discipline, to give them that practice um, at presenting or participating in um, their chosen field. And it was really wonderful to see what we got because of that. The other thing that was apparent after the review committee um, selected the presentations and, uh, and performances and pieces for a conference was that there were a lot of recurring themes. There were things that students were working on across our disciplines and had been thinking about, particularly in this pandemic year, that really stood out and shown for us. And so what we've done to help to um, have the audience and hopefully friends and family be able to navigate these presentations is we've created an organization of playlists. And each of these playlists then allows you to see all of the work in that individual topic. Rather than trying to separate things by discipline, which goes against that idea of the coining or the joining together, as you so eloquently explained, Gail, we really wanted to highlight that coming together and to showcase those themes. So one theme that you will see is homo narrans, narrating selfhood, expanding humanity, 
And the student projects in this category included things like autobiographical explorations of how and why they came to performing to uh, students writing about the post-human elements of owning a dog or having a relationship with a dog. We had another category called Exploring the Edge, Global Encounters. And this category really follows up with our longstanding commitment to what we call the EDGE mission, which is educating for diversity and global engagement. And the student work in this category represents that engagement with both global ideas and travel, and really shows that EDGE is still part and parcel of what makes the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences so important. We also have a category of student work um, that we're calling Forgotten to Time, Reimagining History, Narrative, and Temporality. And students in this category did uh, in-depth historical study, um, engaged with theater performance, and also reflected on how and why we interpret certain texts in certain ways and whether that's shaped by the actual historical experience of the text or something that maybe we've picked up along the way in the, in the meantime. We have another category of work representing challenging oppression and imagining resistance. And quite honestly, this category could have been almost all of the work uh, that students submitted for this conference. You can tell that imagining a more equitable and inclusive future is one of the things that unifies many of our departments in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. It is a passion for student research and creative activity. And then we also had a category on private lives and in public institutions. Here we are able to showcase some of the student research that includes qualitative research methods, um, thinking about the ways in which private communication and public communication differ, engagement with creative nonfiction writing. It's really a wide range of sort of navigating the public and private spheres. And then finally, of course, we had a category on confronting COVID. Again, much like challenging oppression and imagining resistance, you can see the ways in which the students have worked so hard this year to face and to overcome the limitations and the challenges that COVID has presented to them. And many of the students address that directly in their research and creative activity. So we were able to have that category as well. And don't forget, Tane, we also have a special keynote speaker for the conference. Um, we've got Dr. Allison Kettering, who is a professor emerita from Carleton College. She's also the editor of the Journal of Netherlandish Art. And she's gonna be bringing a fantastic lecture called Black in Rembrandt's Time, the Culture of Race in 17th Century Dutch Art. You don't wanna miss it. She is a big deal and it's an exciting lecture that I know everyone will enjoy. I'm so excited about that. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and for engaging in this conversation and for your incredible vision <laughs> and ability to see the best that our new college is able to provide for our students. Um, even though this is a really unique experience for us this year in these unusual pandemic times where we're having a fully online conference experience, we are very hopeful that in the future, as Coin Corner evolves and grows with our new college, that we're able to have both an in-person, maybe more traditional conference and creative activity symposium, along with the preservation of some recorded materials and sharing things on YouTube. We know that it makes it a little bit more accessible for some folks to be able to see and to experience, and hopefully also enables us to get some of our family and friends from far away to be able to see what their students and uh, children and loved ones are able to do when they're here working and learning and uh, really creating at UCA. So we look forward to the future of the Coin Corner, but we are so grateful to have you here exploring with us in our inaugural year. 
to navigate, just make sure that you look for Coined Corner or QC at the beginning of each of the playlist categories, and you should be able to see each of those really impressive playlists. Thank you so much. See you at the corner. <laughs>